Brothers and sisters, comrades and friends, it has been a long time, but it is Cuba Libre, and I am bringing you a new Let's Play of Unreal. Unreal. Now, if you are a gamer who has entered the media more recently, just because you're younger, or just because, you know, you were smarter than I was when you were a kid and you stayed away from these fucking things, you might think of Unreal as a primarily multiplayer game, Unreal Tournament. But originally, uh, Unreal was a single player game. It was made by, it had a multiplayer component, but it was made by Epic, uh, Cliffy B, now of uh, some infamy. Uh, helped create it. Um, every map in this game, it tells you the map designer, which is pretty interesting, and he's done, it, his name was on some of them. Uh, it's pretty awesome. There's probably a lot of dead space, so instead of going into too much detail right here... Um, by the way, this kind of flyby was inc When this game came out, this this was mind-blowing right here. Just like this huge environment. The graphics were crazy. Anyways, I love how it has this fake little Windows UI, too. It's so, um... PC. This is just so PC. We're gonna make a new game. I guess this is Unreal Gold, which is like, I don't know. I didn't. I bought the original game right when it came out. I guess there's a uh, an expansion pack, which I've never played. Maybe we'll do that too. I'm gonna put it on a hard. Um, I'm not gonna put it on the hardest, because I don't want to die too much. Here we are. As you can see, Prisoners eight, four, nine, escaping. we're a prisoner. We're on a prison ship, but people are fucking dead. Things seem to be going wrong. You can also see I have 12 health, so I got pretty, uh, pretty hurt. So here's one of our most important items, the Universal Translator. Holy... I don't know what happened there, but it annoys my game for no reason. So you can see as I walk over this guy, it's telling me I have a translator message. Attention all prisoners, lights out tonight at 20 hundred, no exceptions. I guess that's this monitor up here. Um, so this is one of the first games to have this uh, sort of uh, text message, learn the story by reading Prisoner records four. thing. Escaping. It was pretty, very novel at the time. Um, I'll try and read these, because they're going to be really small. Boris Clegg's Diary, Day 3. Boris. I have been here but three days, and already I have two cracked ribs, a fractured thigh, and 14 stitches. I don't know if I'll make it to the prison, much less to the end of next week. <laughs> I hope you like stereotypical accents, because that's what we're going to be doing. Jonas Gershwin's Diary, Day 204. There was another roach in my lunch today. I wonder how they make it on board starships such as this one. If that bitch in cell 4A keeps looking at me funny, I swear I'm going to rip out her larynx. So these are not admirable people. This is a prison ship after all. Attention all prisoners. Remember, be kind to your cellmate. Violence will not be tolerated. Well, it looks like plenty of violence was tolerated here. Oh, this wasn't here before. And there is one down here. What does this say? Benjamin Nathaniel's diary, day 93. Today is my birthday. I will celebrate by attempting to start another prison riot. Hooray. So, <clears throat> man, there's so much to talk about in this game. Oh, I don't know if you saw that monster at the end of the hallway. All this glowy colored lighting shit, this was all new. This was mid-90s, and this shit was, like, amazing back then. In fact, it was so amazing that it ended up being you have entered a area. extremely overused in a lot of, uh, a lot of other games that came out this time, but Unreal was one of the first. And, of course, like all Epic games, like all Unreal games, um, this game is substantially built to show off an engine, a middleware engine that other people can use rather than just as a game itself. But, it is also a fantastic game in its own right. Oh, whoa. Navigator's Log. 
Vortex Rikers. That's the name of the ship, Vortex Rikers, which is pretty cool. <laughs> we are en route to the prison moon. Long-range sensors are detecting uncharted magnetic masses in Gamma Sector 83H. The captain has ordered a change in course. So we were thrown off course by a space anomaly. Captain's Log. S. Crew. Vortex Rikers. Altering our course may have proven detrimental to our mission. We are caught in the gravitational field of an uncharted planet. I have ordered the engine foreman to divert power to the drives. So you can see... Oh, what has happened is that we've crashed. Things are going terribly wrong. There's monsters who explode their ship, killing people. First officer's log, Vortex Strikers. The prisoners have become more and more restless as we get closer to the prison moon. Security says they have the prisoners under control, but several have had to be taken to med lab for treatment. Ooh. Armory, I like the sound of that. This is, oh god, it's like ice. Check out these reflections. This was also completely fucking boss back in the day. Shit like this. People thought it was crazy. Uh, check this out. It's a button. Armor. You see the upper left corners are armor, the bottom left corners are health. Uh, bottom right corner is a little ammo, which of course we don't have any guns yet. And the top right corner is our items. Right now we just have flares and the, the translator, which lets us read everything. Yeah. Oh god, that thing looks painful. Ew. Gibbs. Chief Medical Officer's Log. Prison Vessel 254 Vortex Records. The other one's just said Vortex Records. Anyways, <coughs> the constant fighting between prisoners seems to be getting worse at this rate. I will be out of supplies long before we reach Prison Moon. Oh god. How do you even get up there? Oh Jesus, there's another one. I guess they really like that model. Okay. You have entered a restricted area. No one cares. Everyone's dead. Augusta. Oh god. Did you see that thing? It ran away. It ran away. And now we have a gun, so it has no excuse not to throw enemies at us. I'm scared. Okay, I'm not scared because I remember what happens in the opening missions, but I should say I played this game a whole lot when right when it came out. I bought it new. Um, but I played it all the way through a couple times, but and I never played it since. It's one of those games I just never replayed. Ouch. That's tough for that guy. Um, this game is humongous. The levels are really big, and there's lots of them. Break glass. Thank you. Um, so it'll probably take a while. They're also chock full of secrets. New translator message. Engine foreman's log. Prison vessel 254 vortex rikers. I'm juicing up the power I can escape to the gravitational pull of this mysterious planet. It doesn't seem to be working. I'm giving it all Scott Captain. That was really bad. I'm s I apologize for that. Now the so there's lo the levels are huge and there's lots of them. So uh So there's also lots of secrets in this game, and I would not be surprised if I missed a whole bunch of them. Even most of them. So, if someone's actually experienced in Unreal or watching this, they're probably screaming at me, but whatever. Screw you. I'm playing. Chief Security Guards Log. Prison Fight Vessel 254 Vortex Rikers. They've pulled all power to the drives to no effect. We're spiraling towards the planet. I don't know what's gonna happen to us. In case of emergency break glass. Well, I'd call this an emergency. Emergency hatch. Alright, new level. See? Map title, Nileves Falls, author, Juan Pancho Eagles. Which is one hell of a name. More horrible bloody streaks, but here we are. We've been dropped onto this mysterious planet. Here is the Vortex Rikers. You can see the name there. 
can see there's some wildlife. There's a little two-legged dealy. Looks like a fawn or something. These uh, bird-type creatures. See how it runs up here? It kind of leads you back here. Ew. Okay, I kind of feel bad about that. Anyways, it leads you to this very minor secret with a clip of ammo for a gun I don't even have yet. Let's talk about this gun. Let's talk about the weapons. There's lots of weapons in this game. Ultimately, this is kind of a quake game. Uh, let's read this. Log. Guard. Arbigil. Deal. B-I-J-L. Deal. Must be Eastern Ukraine. The situation is critical. Last night, large, extremely powerful alien forces penetrated our camp, fired small missiles from hand launchers. We lost five men. That sounds no fun at all. Birdie flying around. You probably can't even see that on YouTube. Very hard to hit him with this thing. So, some ammo in this pool. But these fish also attack you. They don't do much damage, but. I only know, remember this actually, because I played like the first couple maps just to make sure the recording would work and everything else. Here we go, our second weapon. Well. Log Cook J. Strang. Cook J. Strang. Oh, he is a cook. That's not his first name. Cook J. Strang. Uh, no reply to distressing. The Vortex Riker's hull is too unstable to use as shelter. We found an abandoned house to use as our base camp. Maybe the po native population can help us, and we'll meet them later. So, Here's a little native house. Log and Voss. Contact with members of ISV Cran. Presumed lost in this area three months ago, so another ship crashed before we did. They have seen a scourge vessel in operation. We may need to gain control of it to escape this system. Scourge are the nasty, nasty bad guys. So you've got the Nali, who are the natives of the planet, who are a peaceful people. And the Scourge, who are the nasty, nasty bad guys. Now, in terms of gunplay, this game is very quake-like. It's pretty fast, you move very quickly, it's very skatey. Uh, you have a whole bunch of weapons that you can use um, you know, all across the top of the bar. If you're asking yourself, can you jump down there and get in the water and survive? The answer is yes. I'll try it. Uh. Nope. Uh. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, every game, every weapon in the game also has an alternate fire, which used to be very popular for first-person shooters. It's not anymore. So the disruptor pistol, as you can see, it uh, shoots fairly slow-moving projectiles. They don't do that much damage right now. But, they, uh, first of all, you can charge it. The alt fire is to charge it. So, that's like a seven. You can get it up to seven. You can also find upgrades for it throughout the game. And actually, a fully upgraded disruptor pistol is one of the most powerful ups in the game in terms of, you know, damage per shot. You get the quad damage item and it completely obliterates, like, the hugest enemies. But, but uh, compared to a first level disruptor pistol, the just regular old pistol, I forget what it's called now. But it looks awesome. <laughs> uh, it does more damage. And it fires faster and it's hit scan, so it's pretty much just better. I only, I'll use the disruptor or pistol on easy enemies that stay stationary, or mostly stationary. Ew, that's bad. Oh, holy balls! So here's our first guys. These are those enemies with the hand rocket launchers. Now they like to. Oh god. They'd like to charge you once they get forward shooting rockets. Actually, it's actually great because then they stop shooting rockets. And they can only get close to you. You're an idiot. Or you run out of room. So, as you can see, the alt fire on this is a gangster style. Where you uh, shoot faster. Just pretty, but less accurately. Which is pretty cool. So they busted open these crates for me. Um, so yeah, lots of weapons, alternate fires. Very fast paced. Uh, the maps themselves, as you, you already see, this is the first level. It's quite a big map. They have lots of... Uh, 
you know, areas that you don't need to go to. It's not linear. There's a lot of exploration to be done. There's a whole pla bunch of places you don't need to go in order to get to the places you can go. Oh god, now we got these things. This is a little, uh... Haha! -ha. One full blast kills them. And actually, I think there is nothing out here. There's these little Napali fruits. They will restore your health and actually regrow. So if you want to be really cheap and you're low on health, you can just, like, wait around for a long time. I think this is just, uh... There's a current in the water, so you can't go all the way that way. And if you, uh get in it, you can take this elevator back up. That's all this is here for. <clears throat> because the exploration and the text logs and the idea that there's sort of... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa balls. Eat it! Aha! That there's three conflicting alien cultures here. There's the humans who have crash-landed, uh, both in the Vortex Records and the Kran. Kron, whatever. Uh, not not Polly, Nolly, just Nolly. That's right. Not Polly is the, the planet, I think. Anyways, um, but, oh god. So this is one of those bird things that you see flying around. The ones that are flying around apparently are on. Don't can't hurt you. But there are also enemy ones that spawn around. Um, so there's, you know, the Nolly, the natives, the Scars, the invaders that the humans have also been fighting with, apparently. And... the humans. And they all have their own sort of architecture. Um, their own equipment. It's pretty cool. There's bandages in there. It's worth blowing up everything. Another Quake lineage. My burden does not end. More minions have been cast down by the angry gods. I will pray for their souls, but I fear my prayers are not heard. I must travel to this temple of Chisra to seek balance. <laughs> Took too long. Um, yeah, so that's obviously a Nali book. They're kind of like, you know, pacifist, naturalist, kind of like fakey Native American whatevers. That's that's their deal. Um, meanwhile, the Scarge are predatory, conquering invaders, whatever. Get the drift. Whereas the humans are like, you know, humans. Commercialistic, greedy, not opposed to peaceful solutions. Whatever. As a science fiction universe, it's not 100% mo the most compelling thing ever. But in a game of this size and scope, it's pretty cool to see them play off of each other. Now, interesting thing about this game, you see I've picked up two different kinds of armor and they stack. So unlike, say, like a Doom, where, you know, <coughs> the armor pick is just... They look like physical objects, but they just represent numbers, and if you get the uh, higher version, it overrides the lower version. Um, the armor here actually represents physical objects, and if you have multiples of them, you can wear them both and get all the armor from all of them. Log. Guard M. V. Welly. Okay. I should have started with the others. I think my leg is broken. Stayed with the others. Haha. <laughs> I think my leg is broken in several places. My brother went looking for help eight hours ago. Well, buddy. Now, I'm curious about the base of that, uh, waterfall. Should I waste all the time? Because if it doesn't work, I gotta go all the way. Nah, fuck it. Oh, Jesus. So, also, like, Quake there's no use key. I mean, there's a use inventory items key, but there is no uh, use, you know, environmental object key. It's all uh, it's all uh, you just touch it and it activates automatically. 
There's also no reloading. Now, the, the, the pistols do have clips that reload, but that was just, just kind of visual flare. Well, I mean, it also has gameplay implications because you can't shoot while it's reloading, but you can't reload manually. And I think every time you switch back to the gun, it uh, auto like automatically reloads. Okay, so there's this whole bottom area, some logs and things, but we didn't have to go there at all. Mostly it was that big armor that I got. We were supposed to go the other the other way up through this little whatever it is. Bunker or something. God damn it. No. No, 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 no. Holy Jesus. Oh Christ almighty. That was extremely poor planning. Very bad. Well... Uh, I'll go just get back to that point, and then I will get back with you guys. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so... One of the other things that's very quakish... No checkpoints. So yeah, uh, if you don't save and you die, too bad. But <laughs> I replayed it in like five minutes because once you're not exploring and poking around and reading all the logs, it goes very quickly. So we're good. We're back in action. Now the, uh... Hold on. Oh god. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh god, these things are horrible. Yeah. Alright. You see those bullets over there. I'm apparently a female. As you can hear from my sound effects. And this is some, a very weird pool of water rusting the corner of the top of that metal. I don't know. It's weird. <coughs> so yes, this is a very excellent game for a couple reasons. Oop. Log. P. V. Heel. This is... It's gotta be Van... Van Heel. Like, he's gotta be Dutch. Anyways, I was attacked by a flying beast. It used its tail as a weapon. I was able to kill it, but not without taking a beating. I discovered the orange berries have a healing effect on me. I feel strong enough to proceed. So yeah, those are two things I've already figured out. Thanks, though. <laughs> Guard B V Willy. I can't get past the brutes to go back and help my brother. My ammo is almost out. There are brutes patrolling around at all times. In brutes, in quotes. So these guys are brutes. It's good to know. Yeah. The days before headshots. It's just shoot them ten times. Before headshots and before uh, highly fatal weapons, i.e. Call of Duty. It's just, you know, throw lead. These games are all about throwing lead. There's absolutely no reason for me to be doing this. What is down there? Oh god! Oh. <laughs> yeah, instead of using all these flares it gives you, I just use the disruptor. Because it has a lighting effect attached to it. Because this is the mid-90s, and colored lighting is the shit. And, uh... To see dark little dark corners, why not? 
As, uh, I don't know if I said this, but the ammo... Ooh, I'm full on pistol ammo. Nice. The ammo on the disruptor recharges. It's like your whatever chainsaw weapon. Your ammo list weapon. So, once it gets down to zero, it doesn't ever actually run out. It just shoots a lot slower until you let it recharge a bit. Ooh, new map. Rajagar Mine by Clef Blazinski. Cliffy B made this map, guys. Alright, it's time for a save. Well, actually, let's call that an episode. Why don't we? Oh god. No, don't see me. Alright, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.